Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically schedule Google business profile post weekly using Google Sheets. So let's suppose I'm running a business and I want to increase my online visibility and for that I'm going to schedule my weekly post for my Google business profile. So I'm adding all the details of my post in my Google Sheets and I want to post that automatically on my Google business profile automatically and to do this automation I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which requires no coding or programming skills. Here I just need to build connection between Google Sheets and Google Business Profile. Public Connect runs on two principles which is trigger and action. Here as my trigger application I will take Google Sheets where the details are added of my post and then in my action application I will take Google Business Profile where these will be automatically posted on a weekly basis. If you want to learn this amazing automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to schedule Google Business Profile post using Google Sheets weekly automatically. For this, we are going to create automation between Google Sheets and Google Business Profile with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is the landing page of Pabli and you can visit this simply by typing pabli.com slash connect in your browser. After browsing the website, we need to sign into our Pabli account. On the top right corner, we can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, click on the sign in. But if you are a new user, click on the sign up for free and this will give you 100 tasks free on monthly basis. As I am an existing user, I will click on the sign in. And here a dashboard has appeared showing me all the Pabli applications. Here I need to click on this Pabli Connect Access Now. And it has taken me to this dashboard where I will be able to find all my workflows over here and all the folders that I have created over here. If you want to create a new folder, you just need to click on this plus icon and from here you can create a new folder. For now, I want to create a new workflow for which I need to click on this create workflow. And first I need to give the workflow name and then select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So first let's name this workflow as how to schedule Google business profile post weekly using Google Sheets. And now I need to select my folder. So these are the folders that have been created. And I want to select this Google Sheets automations and then click on create. Now as soon as I click on create, two boxes have appeared in front of me. One is trigger, other is action. So trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is basically an event which starts the automation of a workflow. There can be only one trigger in a workflow but as many as action applications as you want. Here in this workflow I want to schedule my Google business profile post using Google Sheets on weekly basis which means my post will be shared on Google business profile from my Google Sheets where I have already added my post details, the text, image and the status of the post. So here to do this I am going to use schedule a feature by Pabli in my trigger step with the help of which I am going to schedule my post on weekly basis and then in my trigger event I will take schedule workflow. Now I have to enter how often do you want to run your workflow. For that I have to select this days of the week and then I have to select the day. So let's say I want to schedule this post on Sunday and then I have to select my time. So I want to select my time as 6.30 in the evening and then click on this save. So I have received the response, my workflow will run one day in the week and I have also received the time. Now I have to move to my next step which is action step. So I want to schedule my post from my Google Sheets. So here I will take my action application as Google Sheets and then I will select the action event as lookup spreadsheet row v2. Now I have to click on this connect. If you have an existing connection, you can go with save. If you don't have one, click on this add new connection. And to make this connection, we have to click on the sign in with Google. And from over here, I need to select my account and then grant away the permissions. For that, we have to click on this allow because my data is safe with Public Connect and authorization successful. So Google Sheets is connected with Public Connect and now I have to enter all these details. So the first one is select spreadsheet. So to enter this, let me take you to my Google Sheets. So this is my Google Sheets by the name Google Business Profile and I have these fields text, image and the status. So I'll go back to Public Connect and from this drop down select my spreadsheet as Google Business Profile. 
and it has automatically deducted the sheet which is sheet number 1. Now I have to add the lookup value. So it's written enter the value to be searched in the column here. The response will return a maximum of 100 search results from the Google Sheets. So in this Google Sheets my lookup value is this not posted. So I'll copy this and paste that value over here. So if my post over here has a status of not posted, this workflow will execute only then. And here in my lookup column, I will add column C because this is my lookup column. And then in my end column of the data, it is column C. As it's written, enter the column to which the data should be retrieved here. It is to be noted that any data beyond the given column will be ignored. Example this, enter D if you want data till column D. So I want my data till column C, so I have added column C over here. So over in these fields, look up as date, I want to select this as no. And then the sheet headers, I want to select this as yes. And then the sort rows from top, as I just want to choose the default value. Now I have to click on the save and send test request. So here I have received the response. Here I have received the response for the first row in my Google Sheets. So this was my first row, elevate your wardrobe with our latest arrivals. Here I have received the same response and then I have received all the response. Now I need to add one more action step where I need to search for Google business profile. And then in my action event, I will search for create call to action post. Now I have to click on this connect. So if you have an existing connection, go with save. If you don't have one, click on this add new connection. As I already have an existing connection, I'll go with save. And Google business profile is connected with Pabli Connect. Now I have to enter all these details. So the first one is I want to select my account name. So here I have searched for my business. The name is Parampara and this is my account name. So I'll go back to Pabli Connect. And here I have entered my account name as Parampara. Then I have to enter the location name. So my location name is Parampara. And now I have to enter the summary. So to enter this, I'm going to use a method called mapping, which means I'm going to enter data from my previous response. So I have received response from my Google Sheets. So I will simply click on this Google Sheets. And here I will enter the text as the summary. So this was my text, elevate your wardrobe with our latest arrivals. And then in my topic type, I want to select this as standard. And then in the action type, I want to select this as order. Then I have to enter the URL. So I will follow the same process that I have used in my previous step. I will click on this Google Sheets and enter the URL as this one. Now as this language code field is not required one, I'm skipping this. And then in my media format, I want to select this as photo. And then I have to enter the media source URL. So this is the same URL which I have entered in my previous step. So I will go to Google Sheets and enter my image URL that I have received in my previous response. So now that I have entered all these details, I simply have to scroll down and click on the save and send test request. So here you can see I have received the response. Now I need to open my Google business profile and check whether this post has been posted there or not as I clicked on save and send test request. So here I can see this has been posted on my Google business profile. This was the image URL that I have added and this is the same text that I have put in my Google Sheets. Let's open our Google Sheets and check this once. So here in my Google Sheets, this is my text, elevate your wardrobe with our latest arrival and this was the image, let's open this. And this is the same image that we have posted. Now we need to add one more action step after this, which is we want to add Google Sheets as our action application. And then in our action event, we are going to select update row. Now I have to click on this connect. As I have already existing connection, I'll go with save. And then in my spreadsheet, I have to select my Google business profile spreadsheet. And then in the row index, I'm going to add details from the previous response that I have received in my Google Sheets. And here my row index is this one. So now text and image are not required fields. So I'm leaving this blank and then I want to change the status from not posted to posted. So here I'm going to write posted. And as soon as this will be posted on my Google business profile, the status will be changed to posted. So now I have entered these details and I have to click on the save and send test request. 
So we have received the response. Now let's open our Google Sheets and check whether the status has been changed there or not. So here I can see this has been posted on my Google business profile and the status has been changed to posted. Now to summarize. Now to summarize, we took schedule as a trigger application where we set our workflow to be executed on a particular day that is on Sunday. And then we took Google Sheets as a trigger application where we took action event as lookup spreadsheet and then we selected our spreadsheet and then we added the lookup value that if this is the value then only the workflow will be executed. We added the lookup column and then we clicked on the save and send test request after which we took our action application as Google business profile where we added the account name and the location name then we added our text and the image URL. We clicked on the save and send test request and received the response as this being posted on my Google business profile. Then in my next action step, I took Google Sheets where whenever a post will be posted on my Google business profile, the status of the sheet will be changed from not posted to posted. And for that, we took our action event as update row. So this workflow will run on every Sunday at this particular time and all these posts will be posted on my Google business profile automatically. So we have successfully created automation between Google Sheets and Google business profile with the help of Pabli Connect. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any query, you can reach at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can visit the website given over here. Also, if you find our videos helpful, do share it with your friends and like and subscribe to our channel.